All right, well, there's a scrim totem, light totem, whatever. That's fully extended. It's pretty cool. Um, there's the hardware, some cross bracing. These are pretty cool. I was devising a way to hook them all together to pull on them, but when you read the instructions, you turn them sideways and it releases the pin. <clears throat> And then you just push down or up, and you're good. And we can lock them, which I probably won't do because I really don't care. They're not going to go anywhere. And then there's the plate, which I just tried my Intimidator Chave Spot LED 450s, which are kind of big. And I'm going to have to do some kind of extension. The plate's not big enough to get the... The rubber feet on it so you can see that one and that was actually further over the other one was right there you can see it's halfway off um and you can use these here these thumb bolts um i'm i'm not going to be taking these apart every gig i've got way too much equipment to set up <clears throat> they're going to ride just like that i'll pull the scrims off to keep them from getting dirty uh <clears throat> and the black scrim that came with it there was a review and i read all the reviews all the bolt holes lined up real good uh, i use a use my dewalt with a uh that five eighths nine sixteenths basically 14 millimeter and was able to suck them all down did distort the tubing because it's thin tubing but uh <clears throat> not a big deal it's tight they shouldn't rattle fall out in the trailer while i'm transporting them back and forth uh, the only real issue I have is they got these really cool gig bags, carrying bags. They're really neat. <clears throat> they're they're good quality. They probably last about a year with my use and my band. The problem is you've got to disassemble the whole thing, the base top top plate going here, and your two verticals going here, in this one. Totally useless for me. If they had a cover kind of like a speaker cover which would probably work then again i really don't care it's going to have a scrim on it it's going to cover all the scratches and dings and dents it gets from loading in and out but um other than that it's pretty solid it's heavy it's 40 i said right at 40 pounds 37 and some change um it's going to work there's the black scrim which was also in the same bag as the white scrim and as the other one or a few reviews did state they this black died got i guess it got hot it bleeded over to the white so there is some black marring on the white scrim but it's only on one side i think so i can just hopefully it's not on the seam side and i can line it up where nobody will notice it of course most of the venues i play it's at night i'll be lighting them up and you probably won't be able to tell there'll be too much other stuff going on uh velcro straps <clears throat> uh this is you know another bolt to to mount something in the middle of the top plate which like i said my 450 intimidators are way big and the bracket it comes with won't even fit that so i gotta figure something else out but other than that um yeah it's about 150 bucks a piece uh, i was gonna build them but <clears throat> uh, why i gotta go source metal and i mean this is like a eighth inch a little thicker uh it's probably it's all metric i'm sure but it's, <clears throat> without going aluminum, it's about the best deal you're going to get. And, of course, aluminum will save you at least half the weight, I would imagine. Um, but I don't want to spend that right now because we're just getting started back up after COVID. And it may be back. So, hope this helped you all. This is my review on the Rockville uh, Glow Totem or Totem Tower RTP32W. And... Um, bought the two pack from amazon for like 294 dollars and change uh we'll try them out maybe the next gig and uh see how they work but they're pretty solid they're pretty steady there is some foam that goes on top of this to uh help keep whatever's on there from sliding around but it's not going to do me much good for my application with those those big uh moving heads so i'll probably just uh either make another bracket and offset something or i can bolt the the light up there uh to make it make sure it doesn't doesn't get bumped and fall off because it's 44 pounds of light and i dang sure don't want to hurt it or hurt somebody else all right thank you all for watching